Hi everyone, it's Claudia Scott and today I'm going to be trying out boxing. Last week I tried something called Muay Thai, which is Thai boxing and I had an amazing experience. But this week I wanted to try the more traditional type boxing and see what it's all about. So, uh, my name is Bradley Welsh and I'm the head trainer and gym owner of Hollywood Boxing Gymnasium here in Edinburgh. Um, I have a vast experience in boxing over 40 years. I'm a former um, amateur British champion and an internationalist and uh, through my life I've, after my competing stage um, as a top amateur and a brief oriented professional game that I turned to open up a gymnasium. I'm going to do a training session here today and give you an introduction of what a normal person would get coming into the gym. And, um, we're going to guide you through, we're going to um, show you what our, our normal teaching technique would be to get, to get an entry level to that, to basically learn how to stand up and to use the rudiments of boxing which are movement about being able to strike and not be struck and that they are the principles of boxing. If you're right footed or right handed, you need to change over a bit with your weaker side, yeah? So if you're right handed, turn sideways on, your left shoulder faces towards the mirror, yeah? Good separation of feet, what about some toes? Then what you want to do is take your left foot and take a half step forward. It gives you the fundamental and most important thing in boxing, balance. So if you stand still, put your weight on your foot. Right hand comes up on the side of the chin, look at yourself in the mirror, left hand up in front of you. So baseline, good balance on feet, hands protected. To go backwards, step with your back foot. Again, to go forward, step with your front foot. The distance between your feet remains constant, therefore it gives you balance all the time. So take a straight line, the opponent's in front of you, back, back, forward, forward. Perfect, from that position there, these are the, the combinations that you're going to throw here. Yeah? Looking straight down the middle, you're going to fire your left hand, it's called a jab. Jab. Perfect. So, jab, stop. You want the left hand to shoot and land rather than leaning forward. Right. Keep your foot sideways, unlike the kicking sports. Yeah? Right. What we're going to do is keep it slightly sideways. Right. So, you generate the balance. From there, it walks you in. The left hand shoots, look at the push your quad, and the one's at eye height. That way, when you put your right hand, you give you more power. Put on one, two, yeah? Perfect, jab, stop. So you've taught yourself the jab, your body shape perfect, but from that position there, there's no point firing your right hand over here because there's nobody there. There's a target there. So you wind your right hand exactly where your left hand is, by hip flexing, yeah? yeah? Boom! Try it together, left hand facing forward. One, two. Good step. Back, back, boom. Back, back, boom. Good. So you throw your right hand, you've got to hyper extend. That makes sense? Yeah. Look, grab one, right hand pushes through. Put your right hand, stop. Look from that position, look at yourself, yeah? Then you throw your left hand forward and round, right hand stop. Using the hip of your shoulder, the weight's going to transfer onto your back foot. Left hook. Try it, right hand, left hook, right hand. Good, get up. Right, keep the hips that way. That'll be your smaller target. If you're sideways on, you have a bigger target and then you're more balanced. Yeah. Yeah, you're going to shadow box. Shadow box is the freest range of expression in boxing. It's unbridled, there's no restrictions on you, and the hardest opponent you're ever going to meet is that person there. Yeah. So, ready? Yeah. Shake off, okay? Single jump, double jump, and shake head tight, fast one too. Good girl, that was excellent. Go on, go, you drop yourself. Go, good girl, good one, two, put your right hand back onto the jaw. Right hand, left hook, right hand. That was really good. Thanks. Okay, well, let's go get some more fun. Okay, cool. You're getting a baptism of fire now with him. I'll just put the thumbs on the outside. Yeah, and the hands here, just find your hand and make sure. You land a, if you land like this, you're going to hurt your wrist. If you land like this, you're going to hurt your wrist. Together with the left hand, you're going to shoot forward, land, turn side and pull back in. Jab. Put your wee bit too far away, so we bounce on your toes. And I want you to just put your left jab, and want you to find the right distance so the hands land and go, jab. Good job, you've got the core rotate. So when the left hand lands, it's stopped to your hip, to your shoulder, shoots. Good job. See it, bam, bam, boom. Right hand stop, stay there. From that position there, stay there, keep looking at the bike. You're going to fire this hand this way and land at the side of the bike as a left hook. You're going to twist your left hip back at the start position like this. Yes? Your right hand comes back to your chin. Right hand stop. Well, you smash that left hand at the side of the hip, put that back to your chin. Left hook, good. Right hand stop. Good, get up. From there, left hand on chin. Left hook, right hand. Single jab. Double jab. Hey, hey. Fast one, two. Hey, hey, right hand, left hook, right hand. Got to see it. Da, da, da. Right hand, left hook, right hand. Is that better? What are you feeling yourself? <laughs> you need to do it. 
This is where it gets in the boxing rounds. This is the Unagi. Right hand on chin, left hand up front of you. It's a perfect shape, look. Same goes on, protecting you. We've now got a pole between us. It's connected. Forward. I come. Sideways. Alright, come forward. Yeah, touch my arm, look. I come. You go. Get out. Make sense? Yeah. But I want you to do something. I want you to focus, look. Alright. See me, look. I want you to switch that on and on now. Let's see the difference between the box and the end of the foot. Because I'm going to get close to you. You're not going to like it. You're going to have that one too so look, these are pads and coaches use these to shape um, a new person up, to get their body shaped right, to get the combination punches right, when they can strike and when they move. And it's about judging that, yeah. It takes your brain, your hand and eye and feet coordination to be able to judge that distance. And now we've got this, I come, you go. I go, you come. And now we've got a conversation. Sideways. You don't make it near you. <laughs> Fall. Concentrate, stay at distance. Jump. Jump. Good girl, now go down. Jab, Good. one, two. Set, up, up. Back, same this. You've got to keep that distance, concentrate. One, two. Good girl, now go on toes. One, two. Back, same this. Jab, jab. One, two. And that's the shimmy, left hand on the jab. Gonna go forward and round, see this? And with the left hook. Good girl, stand up tall. Ba, ba, ba. Single jab, double jab, fast one, two, right hand, right hand, big right hand, big right hand, single jab, double jab. Really good. 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 How good was that? Once you've done, we've, we've, we've guided somebody through and gave them the skill technique through pad work, through shadow boxing, through practicing on the bag. To get better in this game, it's quite simple to practice. And also what we do in a normal session is we imply a lot of jumping and binding exercises. So we use a thing called the jump bar. The jump bar is a place used for the pace of the jumps. Very, very difficult to call some rhythm. So bring it over. Okay. You try and jump it. I'll try it, one I'll catch you. So okay. take confidence. So we're going to hold on to the bar. And you're going to go really high. Well, ready? Spring, spring, jump. Oh. You're going to do that for 30 seconds. Flat out. Yeah. Turn and you're going to go into this space here, will you? Straight this back. Go! Spring, spring, jump. Spring, spring, jump. Face up the box, right into it. On the back. Side goes on, on you go. Single jump. Double to head time. Good girl, single jump. Double jump. Pass one, two. Good girl, excellent. I'm not fit. Like that. You're going to get a ball that you can punch. Right. <laughs> we'll go to the smallest one. For the ceiling box are, um, they're great for time and distance, they're great for working at your rhythm of punches. For new people, they're very, very hard. It's the hardest piece of equipment in the gym to use. Yeah. The left hand out. So from there, using the delta here, it's just that simple. Don't hit it hard, because it'll come back too quick. Jab, jab, set, ba, ba. Good, get out, that was really good. One, two, three, four. Set. Good, get out, well done. Go, pa, pa, to a Oh, good girl, so difficult. Set, pa, pa. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Come. Go, single jab. Double jab. Oh, double jab. Good girl, that was good. One, two. You have a conversation with yourself. Hey, hey. <laughs> Skipping ropes, the universal piece of equipment in a boxing gym. But sometimes an overused piece of equipment. It's not a good warm up exercise, it burns too much glycogen in the muscle, yeah? Great exercise, fantastic exercise, and we do use it all the time as a warm down. Good girl, good girl, good girl, better, better balance, yeah? That's good. Done. Yeah. Done well. Done well. I have just finished my session with Bradley and I have to say I learned a lot in this session and when I went into the session he really showed me the difference between boxer size classes and boxing classes. Another thing that I loved about this boxing class was that there was a ton of women because I talked last week about how these gyms can sometimes be a wee bit daunting and when I went into this class there was almost more women and men and that gave me more confidence. I'm going to give you guys an update tomorrow, let you know how I feel after my class so stay tuned and I'll speak to you tomorrow. Good morning everyone. I wanted to have a quick overview of what I maybe hadn't said yesterday. My session was a much more focused setting for the sole purpose to let you out there 
see what is in one of these boxing class sessions. In terms of my body and how I feel, I don't feel too sore, just my wrists a wee bit and always the back of my arms and that's just because I've been punching and working those muscles but nothing to really complain about. I myself am a massive perfectionist, so when it comes to anything, I love to know the technique down to a T. Now I did learn some of this when I did my tie last week, and because obviously this is much more similar to my boxer size classes, I am learning the technique that I would use and implement in my boxer size classes. Now moving on from the boxer size classes, now like the my tie classes, my head was so focused in this class. As I've said before, I have a really short concentration span. So for me, trying to get something that has my full attention is rare. Boxing classes in boxing gyms are solid. They are no joke and if you want to get fit fast, they are probably the best classes you can go to out there. They aren't just a fitness class, they're also a self-esteem class and you come away feeling amazing. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching and please tune in next time.